Good day, ma'am. Today, I will discuss my learnings about law enforcement organization and administration. Based on what I remembered and learned, we tackled about two Republic Acts. The Republic Act 8551 and Republic Act number 6975. Republic Act 8551 is an act providing for reform and reorganization of the Philippine National Police and for other purposes, amending certain provisions of Republic Act number 6975 or an act establishing the Philippine National Police under a reorganized Department of Interior and Local Government and for other purposes. In short, Republic Act 8551 is the Philippine National Police Reform and Reorganiz Reorganization Act of 1980. 1998 while Republic Act number 6975 is is an act is also known as an act uh, is also known as the Department of Interior and Local Government Act of 1990 um in Republic Act number 6975 um it is hereby declared to be the policy of the state to promote peace in order ensure public safety and further strengthen strengthen local government capacity aimed towards the effective delivery of the way, of the basic services to the citizenry through the ay, through the establishment of a highly efficient and competent police police force that is national in scope and civilian in character um toward this end the state shall 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 bolster a system of coordination and cooperation cooperation among the citizenry local executives and integrated law enforcement and public safety agencies created under this act um the police force shall be organized trained and equipped primarily for the performance of police functions its national scope is scope and civilian character shall be paramount no element of the police police force shall be military nor shall any position thereof be occupied be occupied by active members of the armed forces of the Philippines in republic act 8551 um it is it is hereby declared the policy of state to establish a highly efficient and competent police force which is like like republic act 6975 um national in scope and civilian in character in in republic act 8551 the philippine national police or the the pnp shall be a community and service oriented um which is responsible for maintenance of peace and order and public safety the pnp shall be so organized to ensure accountability and uprightness in police exercise of discretion as well as to achieve efficiency and effectiveness of its members and units in performance of their functions Um, in in Republic Act 8551, um, the role of PNP in counterinsurgency. Um, the role of the PNP in in, in counterinsurgency. In in RA in RA tagito in RA 8551 um, section. Uh, section 3 of 8551 and section and section 12 of RA 6975 um which is the relationship of the department with the department of national Pol defense or the DND the DILG shall uh, shall be relieved of the primary responsibility on matters involving the suppression of insurgency and other serious threats to national security the Philip, the PNP shall 
shall through information gathering the performance of its ordinary police functions support the armed forces of the Philippines on matters involving suppression of insurgency except in cases where the president shall call on the PNP to support the AFP in combat operations. While in times of national emergency, the PNP, the BFP, the BJMP um, shall upon the direction of the president. Um, they assist the armed forces in meeting the national emergency. In, in, while in Section 4 of 8551 and Section 13 of RA number 6975, um, the, cre the creation of, and composition of the NAPOLCOM here in after referred um, to us the commission is hereby created for the purpose of effective discharging the functions prescribed in the consti constitution and provide in this act the commission shall be the commission shall be the, an agency attached to the department for policy and program coordination um take note that um based on what i remember um it shall be the napolcom shall be composed of a chairperson four regular commissioners and the chief of pnp the chief of pnp as an ex ex, ex official member three of the regular commissioners shall come from the civilian sector who are neither active um hindi din siya formal members of police or military um samantalang kailangan um one of them shall be designated of vice chairperson by the president while the fourth regular commissioner the fourth regular commissioner shall come from the law enforcement sector either active or retired um, provide uh, it is and it is provided um, it is provided that an active member of a law enforcement agent uh, a law enforcement agency um, shall be considered resigned from said agency once appointed to the commission um, it is also provided that that the regular commissioner has at least one mm, woman and the secretary of and additionally uh, the secretary of the department shall be the ex officio member uh, ex officio chairperson of the commission or the NAPOLCOM while the vice chairperson shall act as an executive officer of the commission <coughs> moreover in in section 5 of 8551 uh, and and katulad siya ng section 14 ng republic act 6975 um which discusses the the functions uh, the power and functions of the the philippine i the National Police Commission or the NAPOLCOM. Um, it it said it said there that the commission must exercise administra administrative control and operas operational supervision over the Philippine National Police, which which shall mean the power to develop policies and promulgate a police manual prescribing. Prescribing rules and regulation for efficient organization, administration, and operation, including criteria for manpower allocation. Um, um, moreover, um, allocation, distribution, deployment, recruitment, selection, promotion, and retirement of personnel, and the conduct of quality qualifying entrance and promotional examinations for uniformed members. Additionally, on the powers and functions of the commission, um, 
the commission examine and audit the and establish the standards for such purposes on a continuing basis the performance activities and policies of all police agencies throughout the country they also establish a system of uniform uniform crime reporting um they also affirm reverse they also affirm reverse or modified through the national appellate board the national appellate board is the personal dis personal disciplinary action involving demotion or dismissal from the service imposed upon members of the PNP by the chief of the Philippine National P Philippine National Police they also exercise appellate jur jurisdiction like what i said earlier through the regular appellate boards regular appellate boards uh, based on what i remembered is 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 over administrative cases against policemen and over decisions on claims um for police benefits um they this prescribe minimum standards for arms equipments and uniforms and after consultation with Philippine Herald Commission for insignia of ranks, awards and medals of honors within 90 days of the effective effectivity of this act. Um, they also issue subpoena and subpoena dosis tecum in matters pertaining to discharge of its own power and duties and designated who among its personnel can issue such such processes and administer oaths in connection with their therewith they also monitor monitor the performance of the local chief executives as deputies of the commissions they also monitor and investigate police anomalies and irregularities I also remember the qualifications of the the ano the Napol the commission. Um, um, based on what I learned, um, no no person shall be appointed regular members of the commission, um, unless sila ay um citizen ng Pilipinas or o kaya naman a ay sila ay member ng Philippine Bar with at least 5 years experience in <coughs> in handling criminal or human rights cases of a holder of master's degree but prefer preferably um, a, doctorate, a doctorate degree in public administration, sociology, criminology, criminal justice, law enforcement, and other related disciplines. Um, According, uh, additionally, um, um, the term of office of the four regular and full-time commissioner shall be appointed by the president for a term of six years without a reappointment or existence. Um, the expiration of the term of of the expiration of the term of office of current commissioners upon the effective of this act, that um. Um, the, the terms of office of the current commissioners are them expired, which shall constitute a bar to the re reappointment or an extension of their terms in their commission, commission except for current commissioners who have served less than two years of their term of office who may be appointed by the president for a maximum term of two years. Um, while in case of absence due to the temporary incapacity of the chairperson, the vice, the vice chair, the vice chairperson shall serve as the chairperson until the chairperson is present or regains capacity to serve. In case of death or permanent incapacity or disqualification of the chairperson, the acting chairperson shall also act as such, until a new chairperson shall have been appointed by the president and qualified. Um, um, while I also learned that the organizational structure of the 
the commission. A, the commission proper is I must compose of the offices of the chairperson and four commissioners, while the staff services um uh, are have have how many ganyan? have many services like planning and the staff services have many services uh, like the planning and research service um, legal affairs service um, crime prevention and coordinate coordination service personal and administrative service inspection monitoring and uh, investigation service the installations and logistics service the financial service, disciplinary appellate boards, and that's all. Additionally, disciplinary appellate boards shall establish a formal administrative disciplinary appellate machinery consisting of, of national appellate board and regional appellate board. Um, um, the, the national appellate board um, decides cases on appeal from decisions rendered by the PNP chief, while the regional appellate boards um, decides cases on appeal from decisions rendered by officers other than the PNP chief, the mayor, the People's Law Law Enforcement Board, or the VLEB. At yun lamang po ang aking mga natandaan at natutunan sa ating subject na Leia. Uh, maraming salamat po.